Hello friends. Welcome to Tech Talks Engineer channel. Today we will see what is electrical substation and its elements. So, let's get started. First of all, what is electrical substation? This is how it looks at a glance. This is high voltage transmission electrical substation. There are many types of electrical substations based on its application and its size. Now let's see the definition of electrical substation. Electrical substation is the part of a power system in which the voltage is transformed for transmission, distribution, and switching is also carried out. Now, let's see what the elements of substation are. What substation is comprised of actually? First is power transformers. Power transformers are used to step up or step down voltage of power. This is the most costly and one of the most important equipment of substation. Second, circuit breakers. Function of circuit breaker is to make or break contact between two power terminals. Mainly it isolates the faulty part of power system in order to avoid damage to healthy part. Hence faulty part gets isolated and rest of the system continues to work just fine. Its operation time is in millisecond. Imagine, if circuit breakers were not there, the whole power system would collapse every time, even for minor fault in the system. Circuit breaker can open a current carrying circuit. Hence circuit breaker plays very important role in power system. Third, current transformers. Current transformer, also called CT, is a type of transformer which transforms current level. These are relatively small in size as compared to power transformers. Main function of current transformer is to bring down the current level of power system suitable to measure. These are used for protection and measurement purpose. It is impractical to measure current directly. Measurement instruments being delicate will not stand such huge amount of current. Fourth, potential transformers. Potential transformer, also called PT, is a type of transformer which transforms voltage level. These are also smaller in size compared to power transformers, but almost same compared to CTs. Same as in case of the CTs, it is impractical to measure huge amount of voltage of power system. Hence PTs are used to bring down voltage level for measurement. Like CTs these are also used for protection and measurement purpose. Fifth, isolators. These are generally located next to the circuit breaker. Function of isolator is to isolate the required part of system. That is to separate faulty part from healthy one, also to carry out maintenance work. Basic difference between circuit breaker and isolator is, that breaker is meant for online operation that is charged circuits, whereas isolators are only for offline operations. Six, lightning arresters. Lightning arresters, also called LA, are used for protection of equipment from high voltage surges. High voltage surge occurs due to lightning. LA prevent the flow of the normal power currents to ground, but provide a path over which high voltage lightning current flows, bypassing the connected equipment. Seventh, wave trap. Wave traps, also called line trap, are cylinder-like structure, mounted in line on high voltage AC transmission power line. These are used for communication purpose. That is to separate high frequency communication signals from normal power frequency. 8. Control Room. As name says, Control Room is the place where all controlling activities of the substation take place. All important activities such as power flow monitoring, necessary operations are carried out in Control Room. SCADA, Relay and Control Panels are placed in Control Room. Apart from these important elements of substation, there are some other components. There is earthing mesh consisting horizontal barrett conductors. Functions of earthing mesh are to provide grounding connection to substation equipment and non-current carrying objects. To discharge charge between phase and ground by means of earthing switches and to ensure safety against electrical shock etc. There are high mass towers for switch yard lighting. So guys, we will see some more details about the substation and its equipment in next videos. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.